what is up guys welcome to the video and it's actually January 6 today so that means that we're officially six days in the new year and I know right now everyone is in this freaking mindset that 2024 is my year and I can't wait to crush it and that is why I'm going to share with you some signs which may show that you're a low value man and how to fix them if you have them so that you can jumpstart your year in a bang let's get started So check this out. I remember the first time I got to the gym to get jacked and get the body I want. I was actually consistent with it, but there were some days where maybe it was raining or some buddies of mine wanted to meet up or there was an event planned that day. I just wouldn't go to the gym that day. Or another example is that back then, when I wanted to start talking to girls and be good at it, I had one of my friends who was actually my wingman back then. And whenever we meet, We'll make sure that we approach girls and talk to them. Nothing intimate, just talking to them. Sometimes we may get rejected, but sometimes we may get out with some few numbers in there. But whenever I'm with other friends or high school friends or any other type of friends, I wouldn't approach girls because I was out of my element. My wingman was not with me. And in both of these examples, I'll just be finding myself taking one step forward and five steps back because I just wasn't adaptable. Now the point is, if you want to be a high value man, then you should learn to be adaptable. Take action, even if the circumstance doesn't really lie on your favor. Try to force it into your favor, try to add it into your schedule, try to work around it, and that's when you become adaptable and become a high value man. Like right now, if you want to go to the gym and there's an event plan, I'll either go early in the morning or I'll go late in the evening. But whichever way, I should just hit the gym. Back then, if I want to go and talk to a girl and I don't have my wingman with me, I don't care. Like even the girls of my friend will still find that cool because it's still a badass thing to do. Like be adaptable, man. I think everyone has made friends in our lives who are just generally not good people. Like I remember one friend of mine who whenever he calls you just wants to force you to get drunk, hold a beer, hold some whiskey, get, get in trouble, get in fights whenever he can just because you are there with him. And uh, I also remember one friend of mine who whenever you're with him just likes talking shit about people. Now, the more time I'm spending with him, I also find myself talking shit to other people because all of us find ourselves in this environment of mediocrity that we're not doing something in their lives. And the moment someone does something better with their lives, we see them like, ah, he's an asshole. What is he doing? He thinks he's better than us. Now, there's this quote which says, you're the average of your friend group. Now, with this, for example, by accident, you find yourself surrounded by high value men or high value people then while you're with them you start talking shit about other people now those people just see you like insecure and low value because why are you talking shit about the people and you yourself not doing anything with your life there's nothing important to do in the life them they're improving you just see you just see the way you are just because you've been spending time with all your shitty friends now here you are in a in a mediocre mindset now i want you to think for yourself who is this one person in my life who are these people in my life who fit in that criteria. It might be your friends, it might be your family members, but all in all, I'm not, try, I'm not trying to tell you that you cut them off entirely because if it's a family member, that will just come off as rude, but try spending less time with them. The moment that you spend less time with them, also then they'll know that, okay, this, this guy is trying to spend less time with us, he's trying to do something different with, with his life. And yes, they will talk shit about you because that's what people do, but all in all, if you keep on with the same mindset that you're trying to improve your life and you're trying to become a high value man, then that's the right track you're going. So about the first topic today and uh, talking about being adaptable, about rain. It's actually rain right now. I don't, know if you, I don't know if you guys can see it. But there, ah, my camera is getting wet. But you can see. And uh, yeah. I guess this, this I guess this is what people call being manifestation about what you speak comes to life. I just made my day much more harder than it was supposed to be if I talked. <laughs> anyway, I have to go and go to the gym today.
just go home right now. And point number three, prioritize your anxiety. Now the thing with anxiety is that everyone has it. But the difference is the people who know how to deal with it and people don't really know how to deal with anxiety. Now the thing with anxiety is that if you let it run loose, it will actually crash your cortisol level, put more heart rate into, into you, more blood pressure, and none of that is actually healthy for you. And it will also lower your testosterone hormones, which will also lead to decline in gains in the gym. But that's the thing. With the moment that you catch yourself having a panic attack or an, or an anxiety, always try to hold your breath. Take a deep breath in. Hold it in for like 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Then breathe out. Then repeat this motion for like three sets. Sets. I'm so used to the gym. For three sets. Take three deep breaths and release them. Now for me, this is where a high value man and a low value man differentiate. The moment that you walk on the street feeling anxious, breathing heavy, sweating, always panicking around, just checking out around the corner. <sighs> Believe me, no one in their right mind will see that this guy is confident. They just say this guy is anxious, like something is wrong. They'll, they'll suspect you for something bad and some, some of them just be, feel pity for you because what's going on? But, but the moment you are, you are calm and collected, you just walk down the street, something wrong happens, you look at it, take a deep breath three times, then you say it is what it is and you continue with your road. And I can't lie, I also get anxious from time to time, mostly when I come to recording videos. When I woke up in the morning and, and I tell myself, like, oh, how am I going to record this video? How am I going to protect this video? How, how am I going to speak out? What about the shots I'm going to take? And now when I catch myself doing this, I just put a speck back, breathe in, and I just tell myself, just shoot one shot. Just start shooting. From that one shot, you just find yourself going for the next shot. And for the next shot, that's where the momentum comes in. And action is actually the prime enemy when it comes to anxiety, the moment you just feel anxious about doing something and you just go for it, that's when your anxiety just starts dissipating just like that. The moment you see a cute girl over there and tell yourself, ah, oh, she's cute, but what if she rejects me or what or what? Just look down, take a deep breath, start walking. Start walking, start walking towards the girl. The moment that you walk towards the girl, that's when you find yourself get, reaching closer to your goal which is the girl and you might get rejected or things might actually go on your favor and get a number but either way that's when your anxiety has already been, has already been thrown out the window because you have actually you have already taken action towards it and with that i would like to end the video right here if you made it to the end of this video like always i appreciate you and if you're new to the channel what's up bro subscribe i drop two new videos each and every week and you don't want to miss them and I'll talk to all of you all in the next video. And if I don't, I'll be mad, bro.